All right, guys, new day. We are going to be painting the hood today on the truck. Uh, I'm going to get it pulled off, get the wrap peeled off, get the dent in the front of the hood fixed, sand the hood down, make sure it's smooth, and then lay our paint. But real quick, I have to show you guys something. This tailgate. So you guys can tell it's got, it's got some orange peel in it. But I'll have to show you guys later today in the sunlight. This thing is insane. When this whole truck is done, guys, I don't think you're ready. So our handle actually held up really well, so I think I'm gonna leave that in. We only have one really blemish, I think a bug landed in this in one of the last coats. So hopefully that wet sands out fine. If not, I'll probably have to touch that up. There's a couple spots where there's like some dust that stuck to it while it was drying. So those will all wet sand out and then we'll be able to buff it. This will all be done. The grill that I showed you guys in the last video, I did go ahead and paint that yesterday. Um, I had a lot of paint left over in the gun, and I mean a lot. Uh, you know, I saw how much I mixed up. I went up with a four line, and I used like not even half of that doing three coats on the tailgate. You only need to do two, and I did three. And I still had a lot left over, so I was like, screw it, I'll paint the drill. Sanded the drill down, I painted the drill. I still had a lot left over, so the paint got wasted. Uh, but we barely even put a dent in that gallon. So we'll probably use about the same amount of paint today, painting the hood. Um, and then it's the rest of the truck. So I already painted the grill, like I said, it's not in. Uh, but the grill is gonna be a shell that goes in here. This chrome part stays. So we're gonna be having the chrome here, no more emblem. These are going to be paint matched. This is going to be paint matched. This I'm going to repaint silver. Everything else is going to be painted like normal. The only thing I'm torn on is if I should paint the plastic of the mirror or leave this alone with the chrome or if I should paint caps and leave this. I'm, I'm torn. Part of me wants to paint this, but the other part of me knows with this moving and having all these little areas in here that can move, the paint might chip. And I don't want to run into that in the future of having paint chip and getting into little details and stuff like this. There's more of a risk of messing something up for me being a first time painter. Uh, we are going to be getting some gloss black handles to go on the outside instead of these old faded plastic ones. It's another reason why I'm like half tempted to do this. Uh, if anything, I might just get some paintable caps and paint them and just leave it painted with the black. Uh, it's just not going to blend in without this being gloss. I don't know how I feel about it just, just yet. Uh, but everything else is going to be painted. Uh, we've got the smoke third brake light. I might get some new tail lights in the future. I'm undecided. Um, and then, of course, we've got to get a move bumper in the, in the future. But that's the rundown on the truck. I'm gonna get the hood pulled off. I've got a friend stopping by, so he's gonna help me get this off. We're gonna get the wrap peeled off of it. We've got the one dent right here. Then I don't know if you guys can tell, there's a little dent like right here. We're gonna pull that. And then all these ripples, I don't know how well it's gonna show up on camera. All these ripples are in the paint. So all that needs to be sanded down smooth. We won't need any body filler. This should pull out with my little dent puller. And we've got these little ridges right here that I might fill. but. After all that, we'll be good to go. I can't wait to see this big surface area painted. This is gonna be a really big step. I can't wait, guys.
All right, the entire hood is sanded. I only went through to the metal in a couple spots, but I have to spray primer on this anyways, because there's a lot of these like fine scratches that are in it that I could spend all day just sanding all the way down. But instead, I'm gonna lay a coat of primer, sand it smooth, and hopefully it'll fill some of those holes. We've got a dent here, a little tiny dent that my dent puller should pull out. We've got a tiny one here, but honestly, I don't even know if I would even be able to pull that out. It's so small. And then we've got some that I'm probably gonna put body filler in right here, just because it's such a large area. And then we've got one more right here that my dent puller should be able to pull out and it'll be good. But I'm, I'm just gonna try pulling that and that one out and then put body filler in here. So I'm probably gonna do the body filler first. That way we can just sand that down uh, while we're doing this. So we're getting there guys, we're getting there. The video just went live of painting the tailgate. I don't think anyone has even seen the ending of it yet because there's not a comment. So I'm so excited for you guys to see it. I can't even explain it, but man, this thing looks sick. one just because I couldn't get it all the way out same goes for this but as you can see there's bare metal but I'm gonna wipe this whole hood down and we're gonna prime the entire thing uh, just because like I said there's so many scratches in it um, I'm hoping the primer will fill a lot of those I can go over it sand it down again I think this hood was primed before and had some like guide coats done on it because there's a lot of black areas on top of the white so i think someone had intentions of painting this and then i guess gave up i think this area right here is bent uh to be completely honest because i went in and body filled it and i got this smooth but there's like ripples in this actual part of it so i think that there there's a bend right here so i can't really do too much about that battery dies we've got the primer on the hood and I am completely out of primer so hopefully we don't have to sand this anymore it's pretty smoothed out everything that's there I think the paint will fill it's all very 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 fine lines and with this being a single stage paint with the clear and the base in it I'm hoping it fills it I'm kind of at the point where I don't really care if it doesn't fill it all the way because this sand, this hood is shot um, I understand why the person uh, that sold it to me probably didn't use it. I think they did do body work on it before and then gave up on it. There are so many scratches on this hood. It looks like it was used to be pulled behind a truck and someone sat on it like a sled. It is scratched to hell. 
All right, here's the moment of truth. We're gonna wipe this down and spray our paint on there. And uh, I just hope everything goes over well. You guys already watched the last video, hopefully, of me mixing this. We're doing a four to one ratio. Yes, I'm using a different mixing cup. I'm not using this again that has a bunch of crap in it, but four to one is right here. This is a single stage paint. We're not using a reducer. There's not one required. It's just paint and hardener. So we, for instance, we would go up to the four and then go to the next four. If you're using a reducer, you'd go to the next four. That's how that works. In case you're curious, because I had no idea what I was doing yesterday. So I'm sure there's other people out there that don't know what they're doing either. Um, but luckily these are like a dollar something a piece. I bought a couple of them because I knew I'd probably be using more than one. I'm probably still gonna have to go buy more. But uh, let's get this all poured into our gun and get to spraying. All right, so I don't know really when the camera stopped recording last night. Um, my gun clogged, all of this paint got ruined. Um, not very happy about that, but it clogged. I got three coats onto the hood. I had some paint left over in the gun, so I wanted. I was just gonna do a fourth coat because I mean the hood is a is a, a spot that gets a lot of sunlight, a lot of rock chips, things like that. So I figured get more coats on the hood, and I went to go get that fourth coat and the gun was clogged. And I tried to unclog it. I took the, the tip off and everything like that trying to unclog it and I couldn't get it. So I just figured instead of messing it up, we'll just leave it three coats. And oh my God. It's the first time you guys have seen this paint in the sun and uh, I don't think you were ready for it. Because this is sick, absolutely sick. So, you guys are loving the video of the tailgate. It went live last night. Guys, this is sick. Absolutely sick. Now, I don't know why. Maybe one of you guys can explain to me what I did wrong. But it shows up a lot more on camera than it actually does in person. You see these lines from this angle. You move at different angles and they go away. In person, you really can't see them. They show up really bad on camera for some reason. But, like, right here. You can really see it on camera. I promise you it's not this bad in person. On camera, it's like 
really bad, and I don't know why. But like this, you don't you don't see a single line. So I'm guessing I did something wrong, and I don't know what I did wrong. Uh, so maybe one of you guys that's more experienced can drop something down below and let me know what I did wrong. Because uh, I think that's probably like tighter stripes or something like that. Um, I don't know what I did, but. Like I said, in person, you really can't tell. Like if any, if any of you guys saw this truck in person, one, the hood is so high that no one's gonna see it. Two, you really can't tell in person unless you're up above it. And no one's gonna be standing on my roof looking at my hood. So you don't have to worry about that too much. Now, since this gun did clog last night and I was worried that I'm not gonna be able to get it unclogged, I am going to take it apart and fill it. I know it's only a $20 gun. That's still $20 though. So I would like to get it unclogged I went and bought this this morning. Uh, a couple of you guys have messaged me and said to get a better gun. A better gun will help. Uh, so I went and bought this. It's not a super expensive gun, but it was $140. It's supposed to spray a whole lot better. It's supposed to atomize the paint even more. So maybe we'll have less orange peel. I mean, even with that, I mean, you guys see that. Look how good that looks. I don't think that this gun really did all that bad. There is orange peel in it, yes but I think it could be worse for what I used. So I went and got this. We're gonna be doing the truck with this. So I'm gonna be pulling the rims and tires off of this, getting it down on stocks and getting it pulled into the garage. Start getting the wrap peeled off, get the rear bumper off, tail lights, headlights, grill, mirrors, door handles, get all of that off, get our wrap off, and get our body work done. So if I had to guess, body work is probably gonna take like one or two videos. Uh, Cause there's a lot of sanding for one. Gotta fill some dents. Two, um, off of how the wrap peeled off the tailgate, I have a feeling it's probably gonna pull some paint off in some other places. So might have to fix some of that. And um, if you guys didn't learn from the beginning of this video, peeling the wrap off the hood sucked. Peeling it off the tailgate sucked, so I imagine peeling it off the whole truck is going to suck even more. We kind of found a little method of heat gun, peeling the wrap off. It kind of worked. It didn't work great. It was just, it helped a little bit, uh, but it's still very, very time consuming. So I have a feeling taking the wrap off is going to take a very, very long time. But guys, don't forget, go down and drop a comment on what I should do. If I should color match the plastic, if I should get paintable caps and do that or if I should just leave them the way they are also should I color match some headlights um, I feel like because the whole grill well there's gonna be the chrome part but the inlay piece that I showed you guys in the last video it's entirely purple this is gonna be purple this is gonna be purple so I feel like purple headlights might be too much purple um, but let me let me know down below what you guys think drop it down below and let me know one other thing, um, I didn't really want to release this yet, but I, I would like some opinions on it so I can kind of do something you guys would enjoy as well. I am going to be painting the suspension with this paint as well. Um, doing the lift, control arms, springs, everything like that. But I want to do an accent color and I want your guys' opinion on something. Because in the automotive world industry, so many people are worried about copying other people. Although there's only a limit of colors that you can use that actually look good, so many people are worried about copying other people. I wanted to do an accent color of lime green, and a couple people close to me have said how that might copy some other people that you guys may know, uh, because purple and lime green looks insane together. Uh, but I don't, I don't wanna be looked at like I copied somebody. I wanna be original, I, I like to do everything original. So, if you guys have any accent colors that you think would stand out with that perfectly, drop them down below. I'm kind of torn between like a like seafoam, teal, like baby blue almost, a neon green, um, kind of leaning towards gold a little bit. I don't know yet, um, but I do want to do an accent color to stand out so it's not all just purple underneath. So I want some of your guys' opinions. Drop them down below. Any color ideas, I will take anything into consideration as long as you're not like baby puke green or shit brown or anything like that. 
Uh, so drop them down below. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys are loving the paint and everything. I can't wait for this whole truck to be done. I am, I'm so happy guys. This is turning out great. Uh, so many guys are like, I've always wanted to learn how to paint and everything like that. So I think this is helping a lot of you guys out as well as it's teaching me. And this just opens so many more doors and opportunities for the future. Give you guys one last look at the hood before I close this video out. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, if you haven't already, go down, click the subscribe button, drop a like on this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.